heard of Birdies that I hear singing? Well, dear, some people call him the king of the fields. A singing king, really? Mm-hmm. Look, oh. here he comes now. For a king, he's kind of small. My child, it's not for his size he's called that, but because he flies hither and yon, happily lording it over the fields as if he owned them. He's more commonly called a wren. I like king of the fields better, Grandma. Who gave them permission to cross my kingdom? Hm. <laughs> Hey, Fox. Foxy Waxy. Open up. Come in. It's unlocked. Hey, Fox. Wake up. Wake up. It's important. <sighs> it better be. I was having the best dream. Will you do me a favor and escort General Bear on his walk today? Hey, we made an agreement, Wolf. The Animal Council chose you to be the General's companion and bodyguard for a month. I know, but I'd sure appreciate you helping me out. He's getting to be too much for me. What's the matter with him? He may be the biggest, fiercest animal in the forest, but he's not the brightest, if you know what I mean. Everybody knows the bear's a dumbbell. Yeah, but not everybody has to spend all day with him, keeping him out of trouble. For example, take what happened this morning. Hmm. What are these things? You really don't know? Those things are called mushrooms, General. You've heard of them? Well, is it all right to eat mushrooms? Well, speaking personally, they're not a favorite of mine. But you can eat them. Some mushrooms can be poisonous. Are these? Beats me. They're too yummy looking to be poisonous. I wouldn't want to find out. Hey, wolf, come back. You try one. Look, mushrooms aren't normally part of a wolf's diet. Just take a little nibble off one of them. If nothing happens to you, we'll know they're safe and I can eat all the rest. No way. Come on, be a sport. You gotta be kidding. What? Yeah. Right. How is it? It's great. I knew they'd be all right. <laughs> the mushrooms were okay after all? They seemed all right at the time. What do you mean they seemed all right at the time? Well, you see... A little later. I'm stuffed. Let's find a place to lie down and take a nap. That's the best idea you've had all day. What's the matter? <laughs> Gotta know my field strange. <laughs> What's going on? What's so funny? I'm sorry, but I... <laughs> What's wrong with you? Stop laughing. I'm trying to stop laughing, but I can't. Must have been those mushrooms we ate. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Hey, get a hold of yourself. Come on. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> My tummy hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those two crazy fools. <laughs> so they were funny mushrooms. Just because we were laughing doesn't necessarily mean they were funny. Oh, you yeah, poor guy. How about now? Are you all better again? Well... I don't know. Every so often, I still get this funny feeling coming over me. <laughs> Not again. Oh, I can't no. stand it. <laughs> Poor old Wolfie. Wow. I sympathize. Really? Well, do you sympathize enough to do me a favor and fill in for me as the general's escort? Please? I could use the break. Well, it's not really my job. Come on, Whoa. you have to do it forever. I'm only asking you to fill in for me for one day to give me enough time to recover from well. this. <laughs> huh? For somebody who supposedly doesn't like mushrooms, Wolf sure ate enough of them. You should have seen him yesterday. He was laughing his fool head off. I'm going to take over his post for him while he recovers, if you don't mind. Hmm. That's fine with me. I've heard tell you're one of the smartest animals in the forest, Fox. I'm honored, General. In fact, some of the animals say you know just about everything. Oh, really? Please, you're embarrassing me, sir. Well, I'm happy to have you aboard. That wolf doesn't know anything. I'm at your service. Hmm? Hey, listen to that. Isn't huh? that a pretty sound? What sort of animal makes that? That's what you call a bird, sir. Yeah? 
<coughs> I even happen to know which specific bird it is. That's the song of the wren, known in some circles as the king of the fields. Hmm, you don't say. Oh, there he is. Huh. That little fellow's the king of the fields, huh? Mm-hmm. At least that's the title given him by the humans. Really? Hmm. Hmm. If he's a king, then he must have a palace somewhere. Take me to it. I want to see what it looks like. But who knows where he lives? I sure don't. Huh? But I thought that you were the smartest animal in the forest. You said that, not me, General. Are you going to make me out to be a liar? Uh, I've got an idea. Any minute now, the queen of the fields will come along to join her mate. That means we can follow them both back to where their nest is built, okay? This better work. <laughs> Looks like their palace is in the shrub beside that brook, sir. Hey, not so fast there, General. I think it might be wiser for us to wait for the king and queen to fly away before we go investigating further. But how can you be sure they're gonna fly away soon? Be patient, they will. Hmm. Oh. There, the coast is clear. Let's go. <laughs> now. Hmm? I couldn't believe that last bunch of worms that Mother brought for us. They were puny. <laughs> yeah. I'm bored. I want to learn how to fly. Hey, don't panic, but we got company. <laughs> what a dump. This little hole in the wall is the king's palace, you say? Looks to me more like a rat's nest. Mm, what are you, some kind of a critic? I'm General Bear, and this is my forest you're living in. So, your father's the king of the fields, huh? That must make you princes. First time I've ever seen princes living like this, this dingy little place is a real mess. Mm, who asked you anyway? Mm, you better watch your mouth around us, mm, Mr. Bear. Yeah. Mm. You're gonna be in trouble when father comes back, cause we're gonna tell him what you said about us. Yeah, you better watch out. He'll be back any minute. He's gonna be mad if he finds you here, so scram! <sighs> These princes have got the manners of an angry warthog. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> uh. uh, General, sir, I'd say it's kind of obvious our presence isn't appreciated around here. Hmm? You can say that again. Hmm. Beat it. Scram! Go home, you yeah, big ugly bad <laughs> Oh, what a bunch of brats. Let's be on our way, General. Hmm. Right. You. One at a time. Tell me what went on. Well, Father, there was this big ugly bear that came by while you were out. He made fun of us, and he called our nest a dump. What? Oh, oh Father, why would that bear say such awful things about us? He was so mean. Mm. <laughs> Calm down and eat. We won't eat a bite. Do you make that bear apologize? Very well, children. Your father's going to pay a little visit on that bear and see to it that he never bothers any of us again. General Bear, come on out. Well then, I'll come in. Wake up, wake up, I say. <laughs> Huh? General Bear, is it true what my children have told me that you dishonored my house? I call the place a dump because it is a dump. What's wrong with that? Furthermore, my children tell me that you called them names that upset them very much. Hmm. Those brats had it coming to them, if you ask me. Well, I can see I'm going to have to teach you a lesson. Take back those words or I'll make you take them back. You'll make me? You and what army? Why, the biggest army there is. If I order them to, every winged creature in the forest will fly to my aid. Yeah? I've got the four-legged animals, and they're a lot bigger than any of your blue jays and bobolinks. This means war, General. Mm-hmm. Got yourself a deal. Anything else you wanted to discuss? Where was I? 
I remember I was taking a nap. War has been declared. It's war, everybody. It's war. Who are we fighting? General Bear and the four legged animals. Your Majesty, all the birds of the forest have been gathered and they're awaiting your command. I asked for every creature that could fly. Where are the rest of them? The flies, the bees, and the mosquitoes have all come to your Majesty. Then we're ready for action. What about the enemy? Have they gathered their forces already? They must have by now. Who do you think's in command of the four-legged army? Will General Bear lead them into battle? General Bear? That doesn't seem very likely. He may be big and strong, but he's got all the brains of a walnut. You're probably right. Then who will be in command when they take the field? I don't know. Maybe the wolf. If there were some way for us to find out what they're up to, it would help our cause considerably. I've got an idea. Why don't we send someone behind enemy lines, you know, a spy, to sneak into their camp and find out what sort of strategy they've got cooking? We'll need someone very brave. Not only brave, but the smaller the better for an assignment like this one. You did say the mosquitoes had arrived, didn't you? That's right. One of them would be perfect. You can't get much smaller than that. I'm happy that you all managed to make it here on such short notice. Now that we're here, what do you have in mind, General? We go and fight the enemy, obviously. That's your plan. What are you talking about? I don't have any strategy. <laughs> well, first we jump on top of them, jump and then we... Hmm? Yeah, forgetting something, General. This enemy has wings and can fly. They'll never stay long enough for us to jump on top of them. Hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. So we need a strategy. We sure do. You come up with one. It's not really my specialty, but since you mentioned it, I would... <laughs> this is no laughing matter, Wolf. <laughs> I can't help myself. These mushrooms. Huh? <laughs> I feel fine. You're all of a sudden, pow. <laughs> so much for him. Hey, you there, Fox. Huh? You're going to be taking over for Wolf. I'm putting you in charge. Wait a minute. Why? What's wrong? After all, you're the smartest animal in the forest. Don't tell me you're a coward. I'll be very disappointed. <laughs> uh... Okay. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Well? Well, if you're sure I'm right for the job, and nobody else wants it, I'll do it. That's great. I knew you would. Now that you're my military advisor, advise me. What's our plan of attack to be? Oh, well... Out with it. Well, I'm not sure yet. Give me a minute. Come on, Fox. Hey, I'm sorry, General, but I've never done any military advisoring before. Hmm. It seems to me that since the bird declared war, his army will probably be the first to attack, don't you think? Right, so the first thing to do is take up defensive positions. Hmm. I like the sound of that. Take up defensive positions. All right, gather around, everybody. I'm going to give a pep talk to the troops. Oh, yeah! That's a pep talk! Quiet, everyone. Friends, Romans, mammals, and amphibians, lend me your ears. Any moment now, the enemy will be launching their airborne attack. But when they come flying down upon us, keep calm and remember that you're forest animals. We're bigger, badder, and better than a bunch of lousy pigeons, aren't we? If we stick together and fight together as a team, we will win this war. I just know it. My friends, in order to make sure we're all doing the same thing at the same time, we'll use my tail as a signal flag. So keep your eyes on it. When my tail's raised up like this, that's the signal to go on the attack. It means hit them with all you've got and keep on hitting them for as long as my tail is up. Whenever you see my tail drop, that means it's time to retreat and regroup. Now, have you got that? Tail up, attack, tail down, retreat. Now, if we all just stick together, those birds won't have a chance. <laughs> Boy, are they a bunch of idiots. That's what comes of being stuck on the ground all the time, I guess. Wait till the king hears my report. That unbearable bear and his army of four-legged animals are waiting for us at the edge of the forest. The time has come for us to go and meet them, my friends. Remember, in modern warfare, the army that controls the skies controls the battle. 
And so I'm certain that final victory will be ours. Come, my friends, away! <laughs> Come. Ready, everybody? Prepare to meet the enemy. Aren't you hungry at all? Ah, we won't eat until that bear's been taught a lesson. But I defeated him in battle. Isn't that enough? No, Father. We won't let him off that easy. He called this nest a dump, and he called us a bunch of brats. <gasps> we won't be satisfied until he comes here and apologizes in person. He's got to bow his head and call me a princess, or I'll never eat another bite. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Stop breathing down my neck. You hurry up, then. My children are starving themselves to death because of you. Oh, well, now, isn't that a shame? Poor bear. It can't be easy for a big fella like him to take orders from someone the size of his pinky. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Will you three princes please accept my apologies? I happen to be a princess. A thousand apologies, princess. Forgive me. Well, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> now let's eat. <laughs> oh, do you hear it, Grandma? I know what that is. It's the singing king of the fields, isn't it? Yes, it's a 
sounds particularly happy this morning. I wonder why. There's certainly nothing very princely about their table manners. <laughs> <laughs> no! 